Hello Internet, Big Dave here, and I'd like to take a moment to talk to all of you about the Call of Duty Black Ops free-to-play weekend that just concluded. When one of these major games does a free-to-play weekend on Steam or wherever, I do like to cover it. Now, I don't give it the normal coverage that I would give to a uh, $5 or less game, but what I like to do is keep my perspective going. What am I missing out on by not playing $50 games? Is there something that this game has to offer that might entice me to buy it? That sort of thing. Because, like you know, I do occasionally purchase a full price game. Now before we go on, I'm still having trouble shaking this little cold or whatever it is so you may hear some nasal speaking in my voice as I have a little bit of a stuffiness still uh, remaining. So, Call of Duty Black Ops. I have not played a Call of Duty game since Call of Duty, the first Call of Duty, like since the series was set in olden times in World War One, World War Two. Um, that's how long it's been. So I haven't played any of the modern Call of Duty games. So you know I can't speak on how this game compares to Modern Warfare Two or whatever. Uh, all I can speak on is what I experienced during the weekend. You're seeing some footage on your screen. It is probably horrible because I recorded most of it in the first few hours, uh, really the first few minutes of playing. And uh, yeah, I found myself mostly just running around with a shotgun, destroying people with that. And I had a lot of fun at that, actually. I was kind of surprised how much fun it was to just run around in, the, in this tiny little uh, map, the Nuketown map, and uh, just blow people away with a shotgun. Uh, I really tried hard to level up to get the uh, auto shotgun, the spaz, but I, I couldn't get it. Um, I couldn't get leveled up enough in time. So yeah, I'm a little bummed that that didn't happen. But, uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and let's talk a little bit about the game and uh, kind of my impression of it. So over the course of the free-to-play event, I logged in about six and a half hours of game time, and that was played in maybe four or five sessions, and all in all, I enjoyed myself. At the end of the weekend, when I sort of reflected back on the game preparing to make this video, the statements of uh, Mr. Total Biscuit echoed through my head. When he was summing up the Call of Duty series, he, he, essentially, he essentially said, these games are the most basic aspects of deathmatch. Uh, I have gun, I shoot man. Uh, you know, that it's boiled down to the bare bones of deathmatch. And that, in, in, a, in a way, is what its appeal is. That it isn't complex, it doesn't require you to know the levels, know where things are, know where the best weapon is, uh, know where the, the ammo for that weapon is, uh, after you've expended the default ammo. There you are, you have a gun, you shoot other people. Some of the modes obviously bring in different challenges, but essentially that's what the game offers, and, and that's going to that's gonna appeal to a lot of people. And, and on the surface, it did appeal to me quite a bit. But if I'm going to spend $40, $50, $60 dollars on your game, there's got to be something beneath that surface. But when I dug beneath the surface of Black Ops, I didn't really find too much more to the game. Now, things that I liked about this game, the, the progression. Persistent character progression is always... A big selling point especially for an MMO player like myself that's something that's always going to keep me interested if I feel attached to my character and I feel like the things that I'm doing are actually benefiting him man you know you're gonna keep me hooked for a certain amount of time based on that so leveling up was good in the early stages you were getting things very frequently you were being introduced to new concepts uh, most of the concepts that the game has, most of the basic gameplay mechanics are sound. I like the perks, the ability to adjust your character based around what you need to do at any given time. Uh, I like the ability to have multiple loadouts. Uh, the different guns were great. You know, it, it's it's all kid in a candy store kind of thing. Stuff keeps coming at you. Ooh, look at this, this new thing, this new thing. You know, even when I got a gun and it didn't look that promising, I customized a loadout with it and went and played with it for, for five minutes just to see how it was. And and that was a really good thing. You know, it, it the only other game I've played in this in this genre, so to speak, recently is Battlefield Bad Company 2. And the thing that Black Ops seemed to offer over Bad Company when it came to the leveling mechanic was in Bad Company 2, you played a specific class. And while you played that class, you unlocked things essentially only for that class. There were some general unlocks, but in terms of weapon unlocks and upgrades and such, you were unlocking things for that class, which meant that you had to play each class a fair bit 
in order to get most of their unlocks. In this case, you were just simply unlocking things on a gated progression system. When you hit level 12, you were unlocking X perk or X weapon, regardless of what weapon you had been using the most. And that just made the leveling up experience more fluid, in my opinion, um, than uh, Bad Company 2. Now, I say Bad Company 2 is the only other game I've played in this genre, but it's not true, because I've also played the three uh, free-to-play first-person shooters that I did for free-to-play first-person shooter week. And all of those, to some degree, were emulating this style of game. Really, a little more towards Counter-Strike, but a couple of them, especially Project Blackout, kind of had that run-and-gun feeling that I got in... Uh, Black Ops. So there are other alternatives out there that do things other ways. I know uh, Combat Arms has just recently added the perk system, essentially. They call it something different, but it's a means of getting perks, and they actually even have almost the exact same perks that are in Call of Duty, um, Black Ops, and I guess more Modern Warfare 2 as well. So yeah, I mean, there are free alternatives out there. There are other alternatives to this game that can satisfy what I was getting out of the game, which is fun character progression, and a more or less mindless run-and-gun deathmatch experience where I didn't have to worry about power-ups, I didn't have to worry about uh, replenishing my health, it was just run, shoot, probably die quickly, and uh, rinse and repeat. So I walked away from this free-to-play weekend, and I have to say that my, my preconceived notions about what this series is, they were well, they were blown away. They were readjusted. I really, for some reason, thought that this game was more like Counter-Strike. I thought that it was more of a tactical shooter that required coordination and skill. And some of the modes, maybe they did, but even when I tried to play the bomb-type modes and the capture-the-flag modes, it just still seemed like a, a, a all-out deathmatch uh, with, oh, by the way, capture the flag or plant the bomb at this point. I mean, am I disappointed by what I experienced? No, it was fun. I can see why this game succeeds. I can see why people play this game. I can definitely see why this game is very popular on consoles. And that's not a bad thing. It's, it's a fun game. I enjoyed myself. I would not pay for this game. I would not pay full price for this game. I would not even pay the discounted rate that uh, they're offering right now. I, I might pay $5 for this game if it was miraculously available for $5 uh, because it was, it was fun. Uh, I don't know that there's a campaign. I'm, I'm sure there's some kind of a single-player aspect to the game. Every game has some kind of single-player. Maybe that's fun. Maybe that's enjoyable. I don't know. Um, multiplayer, all in all, it was a good old deathmatch time. It was mindless, and I would say the six hours that I put into the game, that was pretty much the peak right there. I don't know that the game would have a whole lot to offer going forward after that. I feel like my enjoyment of the game would probably begin to wane as I played more and more. Well, I certainly hope you guys took this opportunity to get in on the Call of Duty Black Ops free-to-play weekend, and if you had other thoughts, or if you're a hardcore Call of Duty player and you want to correct me on some of my misconceptions even after playing the game, go ahead and respond to that in the comments, and uh, yeah, until next time, guys, take it easy.